This video is brought to you by AMD. Welcome back to Beautiful People, we are Gemma and Campbell and this week we are taking you on a luxurious trip in Scotland as we board Scotland's most expensive train. And if you hang around till the end we're going to be telling you exactly where we'll be jetting off to for the next month and I cannot wait. As we prepare to wave goodbye to Scotland for our first multi-country trip in over two years, we decided that before we leave, there was one more Scotland bucket list activity that just had to be crossed off. We traded in Ellie for something a little more stylish. No, 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 not that. This. And headed north to Fort William to spend a weekend of luxury filled with adrenaline highs, big bucket list moments, and of course, plenty of all the things that we do best. And there was a local sitting there and said to us, you guys do realise there's a sewage outlet into that lot. Join us as we bring you along on one of the world's most scenic train rides, as well as show you the best of what the Highlands of Scotland have to offer. If you're new around here and want to see more of this, this, and the key snap, and this, and Gabby Dozy, <laughs> good job I didn't splash my face when I was in there. Then hit that subscribe button and join the gang as we bring you on our last adventure in the beautiful Highlands of Scotland. Good morning everyone. I had planned on actually doing a little sequence by going outside and kind of showing you where we're camping tonight but the rain's literally just started again and it's another dreary day here in Scotland. But we do have some pretty exciting things planned today. First things first, a little morning swim. Here we go princess. So how are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling nice and snug and not quite ready yet for a swim in the cold water since it's looking cold and rainy outside. I had a nice night in the van, I missed it. And I'm gonna miss it because I've just realised that this is our last night in the van for quite a little while now. About five weeks, I reckon. Yeah. But we do, however, have a very exciting activity planned for this weekend. It's been one that's been on our Scotland bucket list for a long, long time. So we thought before we wave goodbye to Scotland, we cannot leave the country without actually going to do it. Yeah, we are absolutely buzzing. You just happened to get tickets last minute, didn't you? Very last minute. I wasn't even sure we were going to get them, but yeah, it's going it's to be so much fun. Oh, and there's also one other thing I was wanting to show you guys before we go for a swim, because it's a brand new toy in the van. And um, we got it on the back of when we were driving home from Applecross last weekend. We decided to wait till after sunset and then head down to Be Luck and when it was nice and quiet. But we were halfway across to Inverness and we had like such a close call to hitting a deer. So we ended up getting one of these. It's basically this little whistle that you attach to the front of your car. And apparently as you're driving along, it makes a really high frequency so that the deer are scared away and they, you're not gonna hit them. Whether it works or not, whether it was just a scam, I've got no idea, but we made it all the way to Perth and we didn't hit one deer. So I'm gonna class that as a success. You feeling brave? It is not summer, is it? It's like the middle of June. What is this all about? It's gonna be a quick dip and a good refreshing one, I think. At least we've got good company. What is it? Oh, it's Oh, it's big in it. Oh, no. It's too shallow. It's not a swimming spot, this. Jump, jump, jump. Um, okay, so that's just one of the dangers of wild swimming. We just had a, a lovely little bathe in there and we got out and there was a local sitting there who just watched us go for a dip and said to us, you guys do realise there's a sewage outlet into that lock. Thanks. <laughs> and Gabby Dozy, good job I didn't splash my face when I was in there. Time for a shower, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to need to take another shower. Oh, well. Save some water, save the planet. Save on water. So while Gemma is in the shower washing the poo over here, I thought I would just take this opportunity to say thank you to AMD for making this week's video and a lot of my workflow possible. The AMD Ryzen is the computer processor specifically created to power creativity and is ideal for the most demanding workflows. As you guys know, we're currently trying to write not one, but two books on the most beautiful parts of Scotland, which has left us with a lot of photos to edit. So balancing all of this whilst also trying to edit videos, create content for our social medias like such as TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and run our website, as well as all the other types of things that our business entails, can actually be quite challenging whilst being on the road. However, with the AMD Ryzen, we are actually able to balance multiple tasks and complete them in lightning speed thanks to the encoding and rendering power that the eight powerful cores provide. In addition to this, the insane color accuracy is perfect for editing photos, videos, 
or just kicking back and actually watching some high quality entertainment on TV. Absolutely not Love Island, we don't watch that. I'm actually sitting going through the photos that we edited whilst we were on the Isle of Skye and I am so impressed by how this computer is actually managing to handle them. Usually when I'm trying to merge vertical panoramas to create these photos, it takes literally like hours. I can get two or three on the go, go away, make a cup of coffee and come back and it's still doing it. Whilst on this and the AMD Ryzen, however, I can actually render about three or four photos at the same time and it does it so quickly. It makes it so much easier to get through all of these photos that we're trying to edit. If you follow us on Instagram today, actually, you would have seen that we just posted a reel about how we take the best drone photos. So if you're interested in that, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Go and check that out as well. And also, if you want to take your creativity process to the next level, then click the link down in the description below and read more about the AMD Ryzen and how it is perfect for you. Feeling better now, babe? Fresh as a daisy. You ready to hit the road? Yes, let's get going. And so the reason that we are going to Fort William via Perth is that this trip we've decided to give Ellie a little bit of an upgrade. Are you ready? Yeah, you ready? Three, two, one. We have an Aston Martin to take us to Fort William. So this is Michael from Porshire, Scotland, and uh, he's decided to trust us with this beautiful car for the weekend. So. Thank you very much. It's a little bit of an upgrade from our <laughs> from our van. Um, the next struggle we're going to actually try and overcome is how we're going to fit all of our bags into this car because as you guys know, we don't pack that lightly at all. Okay, so now is the moment of truth to see if we can fit all of our stuff in the, that's going to say the van, the car. How actually, do you open it? <laughs> I don't know. Good start. Hey. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared to break it. <laughs> That's not bad. There we go. Yeah. I hope you've not got any luggage packed. Uh, that's actually a lot better than I was expecting. Bags, yeah, we're going to get the rest of the bags. Oh guys, this is so funny. You can literally take the, us out of a motorhome, but you can't take the motorhome out of us. We're literally sitting on a dual carriageway, getting like overtaken by motorhomes and lorries and V500s and all sorts, man. Like the slowest Austin Martin drivers in the world. Alright, it's not that bad. <laughs> amazing in here doesn't it? This is so nice. Oh my god. What have you just discovered? No chance. Prosecco. The one alcoholic I drink that. I don't like. I'm Scottish. I like any free alcohol. I'm not gonna lie. Give us a quick tour. Should we go and have a look? Oh, this yeah. is nice. Oh wow. That looks like a good Lovely. shower. Oh. And the master bedroom. Oh, and another one. Oh, walk -in oh, dresser. oh here. This will be where I'll be getting dressed. Oh my That's shirts. Nice. Very good. So I just bring my whole okay, so that's the plan. We're here for the next three nights. Mm -hmm. And we've got some big activities planned both Saturday and Sunday, checking out on Monday. I think tonight we're going to be having a nice chill night. I think so. I'm absolutely exhausted. But I think this weekend is just going to be so good and such a good way to end our time in Scotland, isn't I it? I definitely think so. Okay, so the plan is to have some dinner and we're just going to jump in a hot tub and chill out for the rest of the night. So I guess we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. and the views here are just incredible. Looks like the clouds might be clearing over the bend as well. We might be in some luck. Ready? And so it's now time for our first activity of the weekend. We're heading about half an hour outside of Fort William to the Great Glen Hostel to meet up with Active Highs. And what are we doing? We're going canyoneering! I we are super wait. excited for this one. The rain has been on and off all day, but the sun's out just now, so hopefully it is going to be good. I honestly feel like I'm wearing a wetsuit more often than not these days. <sighs> Thank you. All right, let's go.
<laughs> well, I tell you, that is definitely our hot tub plans out the window. Raining again. When is it ever going to stop? I tell you, that was so much fun. So different to like anything that we've ever actually done before. Quite scary at times, like some of the jumps were like pretty high up, but it was it was definitely a good laugh. So the plans for the rest of the night, we're going to hope and pray that the rain stops, but until then we're just going to have some dinner, got a nice easy kind of microwave lasagna, going to put it in the oven because we're extra fancy, and maybe get into the hot tub later on tonight with a wee glass of Prosecco. It's the big day tomorrow though, so I'm hoping that rain stops for that. And so this is our guilty pleasure for the weekend. Honestly, it's quite embarrassing buying these kind of microwave meals. We don't usually get them, but we've just been literally so busy this weekend, just with all the other kind of things that we're working on behind the scenes. Uh, while we're here in Fort William before we go away next week which we're still going to tell you guys about at the end of the video so I'm very excited to share that with you. We just wanted something quick and easy and delicious and we've not had lasagna in a little while and it actually kind of gets us used to where we're going to be going in a couple of weeks time. Did you enjoy that babe? I absolutely loved it. Honestly like a couple of them were actually quite scary and I think it was so cold that like I found it quite hard to catch my breath but it was so so much fun and I kind of enjoy that feeling of like knowing I'm a little bit outside my comfort zone so it was really really good I enjoyed it did you? I had a brilliant time. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Sludge. Sludge. I mean it doesn't look as if it's going to be clearing up at all. I don't think it? so it is a very dreary night out there Unfortunately. No hot tub tonight then, I don't think. Well, dinner, early bed, because we've got a big day tomorrow. It's the big one. I'm so excited for it. Me too. I've been and waiting a long time for this. Cheers to that. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Today's the day. I am so excited, I cannot wait. And aren't you just looking very fancy? Ooh. Try to make an effort for the fanciest train in Scotland. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> and you've got your bag all prepped, I see. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. As always, does it really match my outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Tells me that I'm cool though. I tell you, you should be hiring you for Aldi adverts. <laughs> I know. Cool as a cucumber. Oh, this is so exciting. How cool is that? I'm so, so buzzing. Honestly, this is known as like Scotland's most scenic train. So we are heading 84 miles on this train and we're going towards Malig where we're going to get off and have a little wander around, see what there is there, see if we can see the views across to the Isle of Skye and then get the train back. So I'm really, really excited for what we're going to see because it's actually quite clear today. So hopefully we'll get some good views. We're in carriage F, Jim. This is nice, isn't it? Very plush. How do you get biscuits? I can't believe this is Coach F. It's not Coach F. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, this is first class baby bear. Yeah. Nine and ten. This is us. Go. Nine and ten, I think I said. That's not too shabby, is it? Yeah, this is more like our seats. We're not luxury. Well, we? they sell out very, very quick. We were actually really lucky to be able to get tickets for this one, weren't we? Yeah, and it wasn't cheap either. I think it was about £45 a head. So, Something yeah. like that. I mean, you're talking about probably about 90 to 100 pound a ticket to be riding up in the first yeah. class. So we didn't really we'll have settle for this one. Yeah, we didn't really have much time to think about it either because Campbell literally just happened to see tickets online a few weeks ago. Yeah, and was like, I'll just book them right now. We didn't even have <laughs> time to think about the price. We're just like, just get what we can get. I know. I'm sure it'll be worth it. Alright, so we're just looking at the prices for the extras on the thing. What is it? So it's um, extortionate. Extortionate. £28 for a bottle of champagne, 17 for a box of chocolates, £35 for a bouquet of flowers, 20 quid. But I'm guessing that's a dram. It's not going to be a bottle for one Ben Nevis whiskey, a dram. It's not cheap when you think about the ticket prices. That is insane. And we paid £108 for two tickets on this train. Very expensive. That's Scott Rail for you, I tell you. The train left the station and we began the 85 mile trip to the small coastal town of Malig. The scenery becoming more and more remote as the soft clack of the train carried us further into the Scottish wilderness. Just as we had begun to settle into the journey, about half an hour into the trip, it was already time for the main event, the famous Harry Potter viaduct.
That's just how bad we are actually planning these kind of things. I didn't actually realise you got off the train multiple times. We've just stopped off in Glenfinnan. Where are we, babe? The Glenfinnan Steam... Glenfinnan Station is like yeah. a steam rail museum as well. You can get off and check out. The rain's come on just in time for us to do it, isn't it? Listen, when you want to get ice cream or coffees or whatever you want. So we've got around 15 minutes before the train leaves again. Should we go and have a look? Yeah. I love how on the counter of the ice cream cart they actually are selling mid units. <laughs> Thankfully there's none out today but that just shows you how bad it is. Okay, most expensive ice cream I think I've ever bought and I'm not convinced that I'm actually going to like the flavour that we've ordered but when you're on a Harry Potter steam train you kind of have to go for the butterbeer flavour so that's what we've gone for. Hmm. I mean I definitely would have preferred a mint chocolate chip but it's not bad. I can't really tell what it tastes like. Gingery. Oh you're but, dripping everywhere. Mm, tastes messy, like messy. The cone's like a ginger cone as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking mince, it's the ice cream on the cone, it's gingery. <laughs> that tastes very unique. I don't know if I would buy that again because I'm not a fan of ginger. No. Four pounds, woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Anyone want a free ice cream? Free ice cream? I've already licked. Take me anywhere that you So next stop, my leg. Let's go and see what there is to do. That looks like a wildlife cruise. Hi. Perfect. Thank you very much. You got a ticket. Now she did just say to us there's going to be a little bit of sea spray, so hopefully it's not as bad as it was the last time we were on a boat on the Isle of Skye. Because I've not got a waterproof, and that was a very, very wet ride. fun and it was so nice to see some seals as well it was it was a short trip only about an hour but that's just plenty of time really for us we're only in my league for an hour and a half but yeah it was good fun yeah it did start off a little bit sketchy and we started getting <laughs> soaked especially since i don't have a waterproof but it calmed down for the way back and it was actually a really good short trip so highly recommend it so the plan now is just to head back to the train and then we're just getting all the way back to fort william I feel like we're in a hot tub every single week these oh. days. You just can't beat it, can you? Slunge. And so guys, unfortunately, that does actually bring us to the end of our Fort William adventure. Which is very sad, but it means that we get to tell you where we are going next week. And it is... We are going to Kefalonia in Greece. And we're actually leaving in like two days. Two days <laughs> time. I keep checking the app to, che uh, to check into it and it says leaving in two days. And I'm like, what? We are not, not ready for this. <laughs> we are not ready at all. But yeah, I'm so excited. It's a Greek island just beside Crete. We're going there for two weeks. And then I think after that, we're going down to the Amalfi Coast in Italy. So we're very excited. If you've got any recommendations for either of them, we'd gladly hear it because we're so excited for it. It's going to be so nice as well just to go somewhere a bit different, go abroad again. If you've followed us for a long time, you'll know a lot of our travels previously were actually not in Scotland or the UK. So we're really excited to get further afield again and just embrace all the different cultures. Have a little bit of change. Yeah. We are actually heading back to van life again. We're going to Ireland. Fingers crossed 
Um, end of August? Beginning Start of August. August. Beginning of August, we're going to Ireland again, and yeah, we're very excited for that in the van this time. So we've taken Ellie on our first international trip. Yep. So if you want to see more of that, and if you did enjoy this video, hit subscribe if you've not already, and give it a big thumbs up. It just lets us know that we're doing the right thing, and you want to see more videos just like this one. And as always, guys, see you again in the next one.